Okay, so today we're making a Play-Doh portrait of whoever you want, and all you need is Play-Doh or I Can Only Find Model Magic, um, some magazine papers or newspaper, just random pages. Um, they're going to be crumpled up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then some tape. And the first thing that we need to do is crumple up the pieces of paper. You don't have to use all of them, it just depends on how big you want your portrait to be. So this is going to be just crumpled into a ball and that will be the base shape for the person's face or the person's head. one into a ball and then grab another one, put it over it, and then keep crumpling. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Okay. Now to keep the shape together, just take your tape and tape any loose ends. doesn't have to be a perfect circle because faces aren't perfect circles. So now take the clay or play-doh and if you have um, pipe cleaners you can even like find a hole in the crumpling and put the pipe cleaner in there and then have it stick out like this. And then you can use more uh, crumpled up newspaper or magazine and wrap it around that if you want to create like a neck or um, a torso or something. So the first thing we need to do is put the clay or play-doh just on top of the newspaper. This is just the first layer, so it it isn't going to be perfect at all. Try to stretch it out thin so that you have a lot left. And then just use your fingers to try and make it smoother.
bigger than this. Right now, we are making the nose. So, it can be any shape that you'd like. Maybe you could start with a triangle, like this. Just to make it easier. Um, and then just shape. Try and push one side of the triangle to be flat. So it's like a right triangle. And then I'm going to try and round the end of the nose a little bit. And right now you're just doing the bridge of the nose, so we'll do the nostrils after this. Okay, I think I've got my nose shape. So just pick a spot and put it on. So far. Now, because of human anatomy, we might need to add more to the top because the skull is not just a circle, it's got a bigger forehead. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of this. A little bit bigger. And then just stick it to the top. And because we did the newspaper at the beginning, it's not just gonna, it will keep the shape that we have right now. Try and push it to the back because the human skull has a pretty big cranium, so the cranium goes from the forehead to the back of the head like this. Give it some more. And just mold it into the play that you already have. And you want to try to be gentle because the clay that you're working with, it, I don't know, you could, like, easily rip it off if it's, um, okay, I've lost all of the face that was underneath this, so I'm just going to take off some of this, put it back down here, and to be clear, this does not have to be your own face, that would be pretty hard to do, since you aren't really looking at yourself right now, actually, I am, I have a mirror in front of me, but for you guys, just do whatever you feel like doing. This person is whoever you want them to be. Okay. And like I keep saying, don't worry about perfection, especially at this stage, um, because right now we're just getting the shape into place. The nose was mostly to help us figure out where the front was. Human anatomy means that your nose is not in the center of your face. It's a little bit below, so the eyes are the center of the face. So we want to make sure that where your eyes are, which is where your nose ends, should be in the middle of your face. So. So this is roughly what I want my shape to look like, and it might take you a while to get there, because it took me a while to get there, and that's okay. You want to push in where your nose ends, so just push in a little bit. You've got the newspaper there, so your fingers won't go too far. And I have long nails, so I'm just gonna use my nails to map out the brow line. If you don't want to have to worry about things like the brow ridge, then 
just push holes right where your nose ends, okay? And it's kind of looking creepy right now, so we're going to add the eyeballs. Not too big at first, because the only thing creepier than no eyes is eyeballs that are bigger than their sockets, so. Just try your best to make both of the eyes match in size. Okay. Now, we, if you have a pencil or something, try and poke a hole in the middle of the eyeball. Because this is where the pupil is going to be. And if you didn't know, pupils are not actually dots. They are holes. Okay. okay, it's still looking pretty creepy. bit of play-doh, roll it up into a ball, and place it in the center. reason that it looks creepy right now is because the eyeballs are completely open wide. So you're going to take a thin piece of play-doh, just stretch it out really thin, try and make kind of a triangle shape with this. If you can, because I'm kind of struggling here. Or maybe like a shape like this. And this is the eyelid. So you can put it as high or low as you want. Just put it right there. And then just use your finger to blend it out into the rest of the face. Okay, now for the other side. It's looking better. Okay, now let's do the eyebrows. All we need to do is <coughs> just roll, just roll the plate on like this, and then you can cut it in half if it's too big. It can be as thin or thick as you want it to be. I would recommend having one end bigger than the other end. And now you can put the eyebrow on in any shape that you want. I'm just gonna go with the regular like that. And it's gonna go just wherever you feel like it should go.
just some little pieces and roll them up, kind of like how we did the eyebrows. Maybe just one. And no matter what shape you're doing, as long as you have the ends going up, then it'll look like it's smiling. Okay, this is small. But now that it's attached to the face, it'll be easier to add to it. The bottom lip will be a little bit smaller than the top lip. It's kind of just a blob that goes right under. should look something like this. And now, since we're done with the face, we all we have left is the hair. So the hair can be anything you want. I think long hair is easier, or at least like a pixie cut. Because personally, I don't know how to draw short hair so I definitely don't know how to make it. So just start with a shape representing the hairline. Should just be straight or kind of curved a little bit like this. I'm gonna have it like this. And then make sure that you have enough forehead showing. Okay, I'm gonna say here. And then just keep adding to it. You can use up uh, the rest of your Play-Doh if you need to. You don't have to worry about making an ear because the hair will cover it.
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to make the hair bigger, more fluffy. I have absolutely no idea how to make curly hair with Play-Doh, so I'm just sticking with straight hair. And if you can, try to avoid having the hair touch the bottom of the head because then it'll look like a beard. So just keep going until you feel like your person is finished, you're happy with how they look, and that's it. Okay, cool.